What if I told you that there's actually a way to install new macOS software on very old Mac hardware? And all you need is a thumb drive. To prove that, I will install macOS Sequoia on a 10 year old MacBook Air. But here are a couple of things before we start. First, I have no idea if this is legal or not, but I'm sure Apple doesn't like it. Second, your files might be gone after with a patch, so make sure you have a backup. Third, your Mac might not be compatible with this. You can check that on this website. And if you are interested, here are the specs of the computer I'm doing this on. So first, grab a thumb drive with minimum 32 gigabytes and plug it into to your Mac. Open this utility, click on view and show all devices. So when you see your USB in the sidebar, click on it, go to erase, give it a nice name, format it as APFS and the scheme is GOID partition map and click erase. When it's finished, click done. After that, head to this website and download Open Core Patcher GUI. Now open the downloaded zip file and drag Open Core Patcher into the applications folder. Then fire it up and let it install additional components. So after you got two years older, click create macOS installer, download macOS installer and select the version you want. Now you ask if you want to create a macOS installer and so obviously we want to do that. You can click yes and select the version you've just downloaded. Here it's really important that you select your USB otherwise you will break your Mac. So click yes and let a year pass. Okay I just got one year older but we have our installer. Unfortunately that doesn't help us at all because your Mac will still fail to boot it. Why? Well the open core bootloader currently isn't on the USB. To install it click yes, install to disk, select USB and select it again. When that's done click click reboot. Now as soon as you see the Apple logo, hold the Alt or Option key and you will see something like that. In this view, select EFI boot and macOS Sequoia or whatever version you picked. After a couple of seconds or minutes, you should see this. Here open disk utility, click again on view and show all devices and select the most top option under internal. Now click erase, give it a name, make sure the format is APFS and the scheme is GOID partition map and click erase. When that's done, you can close disk utility and open install macOS. Just a creature the terms of service and select your internal disk. After the installation, your Mac will restart multiple times. Just let it do its thing until you see this. And I don't think I need to show you how to set up a Mac. But when your Mac is set up, you are not quite done yet. Open the Open Core Patcher app. It will be installed. If not, do it the same way as before. Click on Post and Store Root Patch. And everything that happens now depends on your Mac and the OS you've picked. So just follow the steps. It won't be too hard. And when it's done, you can finally unplug your USB. But what is a Mac for you without apps? Nothing, right? So you can click on this playlist to hear about the best free Mac apps. See you there.